The East Africa community is urging the private sector to take advantage of the ongoing bilateral engagements between partner states to promptly resolve disputes so as to increase trade volumes among partner states. EAC Secretary General Peter Maduki has further called on the private sector to properly harmonize their positions on trade agreements at the national level before engaging their counterparts to fast-track trade deliberations. Elsewhere, Predictive Analytics has partnered with the European Business School of Luxembourg to offer scholarships for Kenyan students seeking to enhance their business skills through the program in a deal made possible by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Belgian Embassy. The European Business School of Luxembourg previously gave the government 5,000 scholarships through the Ministry of Trade. Once trained, the graduates will use the skills across various industries including retail, media, manufacturing, hospitality, telco, technology, insurance and banking. There's a huge skill set that we're trying to meet and there's a huge demand that's coming up in the marketplace based on the skills that uh, we've been able to uh, give out to the different uh, professionals that have been coming to our training programs. We have a mission and our mission is to make education affordable, accessible and equitable. The European Business University is located in Luxembourg and we have a wonderful opportunity for Kenyans. And finally, a new report by cybersecurity consulting firm Seranu says that most SACOs in Kenya are struggling to comply with the regulations of the Data Protection Act in managing information they obtain from members and customers. The report further highlights that SACOs are unprepared for data protection laws and run the risk of a 5 million shillings penalty each for non-compliance. Other findings of the report include low technology vendor security levels, increased mobile attacks on SACO mobile transactions, and the need to embrace remote working practices in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic. A SACO must ensure that a member has given consent prior to sharing marketing materials. This is some of the key changes to the data protection law that you must uh, pay attention to. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV, Nairobi.